And today marks the 25th anniversary of the Wyawega train derailment. The train wreck forced the city to evacuate immediately, and for 18 days, no one was allowed into the city. 14 of the derailed cars were filled with a half million gallons of propane. Local 5's Faith Alford is live in Wyawega to tell us more. Shelly, Caitlin, we are at the scene of where it all happened. We are here in Wyoming this morning, and we are joined by Kathy and Ian, who will be hosting an event this afternoon. Tell us a little bit about what you all have planning to commemorate sure. 25 um, years. At this place in Wyoming, a train uh, left the tracks, lots of fumes and hazmat materials exploded. Uh, it was a big, big deal. The town had to be evacuated for over two weeks, yeah. and we are commemorating that event today. Mm -hmm. At four o'clock, we're gonna be joined by the Wega Fremont High School Band, okay. by some students who will be singing and playing the guitar, and we will be presenting, or we will hear from, I should say, mm -hmm. the woman who was mayor at the time okay. of the event, uh, Judy Wiesman, and then we're going to have Jim Bainman, Bainman, who was the uh, fire chief at that time and who probably knows more than any person about how the event unfolded. Also tonight, um, I know you all are going to be uh, kicking off a, a film in, um, something, uh, a, a yeah, film? Yeah, Wega Arts, uh, Why Wega Arts, um, we operate here in Why Wega, we own and operate the Gerald Opera House, and uh, we haven't been able to do a lot of events due to COVID, so this year we thought, well, let's let's do something more for the community. Uh, and so we're going to put together a film uh, interviewing people and their experiences about the train derailment, memories they had, how's, how do you think that affected their life, how do, how's it affected uh, why we go over the years. And so we're going to be doing interviews over the year. Uh, and then put that together, and then hopefully by March 4th of next year, we'll present it at the Opera House in Wyawega. Wow. And, 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 and I also want to follow up. If anybody has memories or anything they want to get in touch with us, the easiest thing to do is probably just look us up on Facebook okay. and send us a message on Facebook. It's probably the easiest way to reach us. And Faith, very yeah. important, we are partnering with the Wyawega Area Historical okay. Society on this event, mm -hmm. and we are going to be interviewing uh, <clears throat> people about their historical memories. So this, this will be a joint project. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Kathy and Ian. I definitely appreciate it. This afternoon, the event kicks off at 4 p.m. live in Wyawega. Faith Alfred, Local 5 News.